with Bash Bros Movies and uh, tonight uh, we're bringing or this morning whenever you're watching this uh, we've, today yeah uh, we've seen Tomb Raider the new Lara Croft uh, movie that is basically not just a reboot of the old uh, Angelina Jolie movies but it's also based on the reboot of the original game so the new games are actually a reboot of the old 90s games so it's not really it's not gonna be the same story and Gerard Butler isn't in this one and to be honest, I don't even remember the Angelina Jolie movies all that Actually much. Actually, do like not the details, not the fine details, of course. No, no, because it's been a while. But yeah, like general. Yeah, general setting. I remember like second movie. I don't even remember the first one. I Gerard remember Butler more. Gerard Butler was in the second. One. Yes, I even forgot Gerard Butler was in one of those. So it was in the second one, dude. I, I it's he been was a another while. Tomb Raider. So you know, there was a whole. Yeah. Dude, listen, yeah. uh, Alicia Vikander is. Uh, uh, Laura Croft this time around. Yep. Uh, she's made. She's been making a name for herself ever ever since she was in Ex Machina a few years back. Yep. Uh, and uh, she's a great actress. But yep. uh, when it comes to Lara Croft, listen, I don't have any uh, preconceived notions of what this movie is supposed to be because I never played the games. Not even like I watched well, I did a little back, like the old ones. The old ones I watched other people play, but it never got my attention. Like I was never that much. Well, there's into YouTube, it. so YouTube, and then you can watch other people play. I know. YouTube. It just I don't know, man. It Technology, just, man. Dude, Technology. I, I we spent our childhood also like a lot of our hours went on watching other people play games in our childhoods, so. It's not that I am opposed to watching other people play games. It's just that for some Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, whatever you want to call it, never got my attention for any reason. I think whatsoever. it was because of the triangles at the wrong places. Not even that, man. It just I don't know. It seemed way more complicated than it really was. I'm, well, I'm pretty sure game play changed a lot because like, with the advancement of technology. And I stuff like actually that. once tried playing it on PlayStation in one of the shops and that's why I remember it was more complicated than it looked like. And anyways. Technology. Dude, listen, uh, where gaming has come in the last 10 years, I mean, it, not just in the last 30 years, literally. like Back to the Tomb Raider. But yeah, um, I mean, but it's I mean we can talk about that subject a little bit since this is a movie based on a video game. So I think it just yes, but we are yeah. reviewing the movie, not hey. the fact that it's based on the video. Game. Well, it brings me up to my point that you already are familiar with because oh, yeah. you already heard one uh, of my rants. Yeah. yeah. So I like video game based movies generally. Like there's I haven't seen all of them. I've seen a lot Thank of God. them. Some are awful. I know, man. Some are awful. What's man. the name of that dude, uh, that director that went into uh, retirement a few years ago? I can't remember, but I do know who Udo or from. something or other. Uh, some German guy. Yep. Yeah. He'd but I actually it. like his movies. I haven't seen all of his movies. Well, though. the few that I did watch, I liked them. Just because he has a certain way of making movies. Even though it's low budget, it kind of works for it. I, the only movie I remember seeing, uh, remember that he did that I actually watched and remember what is Far Cry, and I actually enjoyed that yeah, one a lot did, more than I thought I more. would. But, but I know he did more. He, but he I can knew what you were, what you were getting with him. You yeah. know, we were gonna get like a low budget movie, and it's gonna be okay. I because think he's gonna the way he the way he sees stuff and the way he makes it happen on screen just works. Yeah, and we talked about uh, we made the top five video game movies based list. Yeah. Uh, Last we year. couldn't make six or ten because just you know there weren't that many movies. <laughs> there is that many movies, but they're just not that good for yeah, one we, reason we go or another. back to the awful and, part. Yeah, and Lara Croft is a major exception to that rule because the movies based on Lara Croft games with Angelina Jolie were I'm gonna say superb, but I mean that for the time. Uh, for the time, and I mean for, for the style, genre, yes. and for the genre. Yeah, for the genre, because back then you had like the Luigi brother. The Super Mario one? No, 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 listen. Lara Croft was made in 2000s. Have... Mario Bros. was made in early 90s. Let's not compare the... Wait, Lara Croft wasn't before? No, it was in oh, 2000s. I, man. I thought it was later. Well, it was in 2000s. Well, it kind of goes to show you that... We're, we're, Generally, we're, you didn't have much to work with when it came to so, video game movies when the original Lara Croft. Came. Yeah, uh, and we'll give you, we'll put the link at the end of this video or somewhere in here to the, our top five video games. Yeah, the link. Yeah. 
uh, because the movies on that list are way better than the movie we saw tonight, in my opinion. And well, even though like this, this one, one might make video, the list, for the video game movies, I actually like this one. I think it's also because I think they came the way they taped it, the way the whole thing. Uh, nothing against Alicia. Alicia, I think, uh, did a superb job. Uh, what is lacking is what is around the movie, but I'd, uh, when you put all the other facts aside, you know, it's a video game movie. It's, it's a movie to begin with, so it's not going to be realistic. It's uh, listen, You have three lives. Yeah. She obviously has like 16. Yeah. But as far as the general, like, if you view it as a video game, it makes a lot more sense than Definitely. if you watch it as a movie. As a movie, you can find many faults with it. Even yep. if you watch it as a video game, he found many faults with it. Uh, it but here's the thing. That, yeah. If you watch it as a video game, it just the whole thing makes a lot more sense. Definitely. But to me, did, I, I don't know, man. To me, it didn't even follow some of the video game tropes, like the three lives thing and, I don't know, health regeneration thing. Yeah, because but here's I, the thing. That happens in every movie. I know, man. So you can't really just set this one aside and say, well, it did everything wrong. Because I know, I know, that's, that's my problem, that's also my problem with the movie as well, because... But that's Hollywood for you. No, man, I mean, listen, I want to, happens, dude, I went without any preconceived notions, so well, as soon as they, no expectations, I didn't, I saw like one of the trailers, so... I didn't. And, you know, I, I didn't expect anything but out I of... But a long time ago, just listen, this is totally not relevant, but back in a couple of months ago, I cracked... Well, I didn't crack. I bruised two ribs. Yeah. I couldn't breathe for like two weeks. Yeah. In the movie, generally, when you break a leg, six ribs, uh, bust a lung, you can still s scale, you can ride avalanches, you can uh, swim in volcanoes. Yeah. Like, I couldn't breathe for like two weeks properly. Yeah, I and remember. My ribs man. were bruised. I did not break anything. So I learned, like, there's no way. I can expect anything realistic to happen in an action movie. Definitely, definitely. So, when you put that notion aside, it just gives you a different point of view when you watch the movie. Yeah, but my and point, you can yeah. enjoy the movie for the movie, not for yeah. everything that it did wrong. True. And listen, I, I'm generally that sort of a person. But tonight, for some reason, I don't know why, at one point, I was literally contemplating walking out. I never contemplated walking out, but I was like, this, I was is, seriously this stuff considering is it. way too unrealistic to make sense. And then it just clicked, and I was like, well, it's a video game. Really? I just view it as a video game. And the movie made sense a lot more after that. True. That helped. But even then, at, even then, when I switched gears, I was... Oh man, like, Sherlock Holmes was way better. And like the one with Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. Because they have, they have a similar thing going through it with the mystical theme. Turning out it's not actually yeah, that but you mystical. Can't so really it's like compared. Yeah, to exactly. Uh, and so it's the like the movie itself is different. Definitely, definitely. I'm just trying to say I'm the guy who enjoys Fast and the Furious. I'm the guy who likes Transformers. I'm the guy who likes Pacific Rim. Can't wait for the opera. I'm that sort of a guy. This is the movie that I was supposed to like, enjoy watching, and parts of it I I did enjoy, but. I think movie was lacking overall, in certain areas. Yes, overall, I will agree that. At one point, listen, I, I'm never contemplating to walking out of the movie. Me neither. And for me to seriously consider that, I think put some major, major red flag on a movie. And I don't know. It never got to that point with me. I. So I can't. When I started viewing it as a video game, it has to go. Just the so, whole thing yeah. made a lot more sense, and I enjoyed Agreed. it a lot more than I did up to that point. I didn't. And the movie is lacking. Like, like, there's certain areas no, where, like, yeah. you know, if I was stupid, I wouldn't do that. Like, there's a scene when they grab her backpack. I was like, <laughs> tell me you didn't see that coming? How could you not have seen that coming? Uh, how did uh, the, uh, the journal, you know? how did Father's journal survive being underwater? Like, oh, she put it in a bag. Yeah, but it's not waterproof. It's just you a did. regular backpack. Yeah, no, no, no. She put it in the bag, waterproof bag, and then she put that in the backpack. No, 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 she didn't yeah, put it in the yeah, backpack. Yeah. I, I could have yeah. missed that part. Probably the screaming kids. Uh, no, actually, I, yeah, we, we, there was a birthday no, party, not, somebody yeah, was let's, celebrating let's 13 years. That. They didn't bother me one bit, the kids. Like, I'm already 
you know, I, I don't care, you know, it's like, I'm oldest of six, I'm used to it, I really don't care. That didn't bother me one bit, so well, it was... The journal went into the waterproof bag, all the dad's files went into the waterproof bag, bag went into the backpack. Uh, I, I somehow I don't know how I missed. I don't know how. Probably the, the whole bow smashing the rocks thing, kind of, you know. It was 3D too, so maybe that was. Yeah, but still. Anyways, uh, what's your rating of? Like a 20. Same. Although you know what? Like, well, I'm generally... giving you a 19. I'm giving you 19 out I of 30. I can't go that low just because uh, I did generally enjoy. I the had movie. to go that low because I seriously contemplated walking out. So. Well, yeah. the, Thing is, while I which isn't something I, I usually really do. really can't find fault in the actors. Themselves. No, it's not even it's the just, director's fault. It, I think it's the writing. The it, way the movie was exactly the way movie was written just did not come out right. It could have been was, done way better. It and, had way too many holes. And you, you can't tell me you didn't see the villain coming. I saw it the moment the father or whoever said she. I was like, damn, it's the girl. Like yeah, you, there's you no know. butler in this movie, okay? There's like no you butler, so you know who's... And you know the second she shows up, you're like, yeah, she's... The way she treats her, it's like, you know she's the villain. So, like we said, there's plenty of holes in this one. I'm not even bothered by the holes, man. I mean... No, generally writing, like, yeah, you know. Could have been done better. So definitely. I think and it was I actually, way too for rushed, one, so, yeah. I would actually like to see the sequel. You know, I was... I don't know, I don't know what they're gonna do with it. But generally, I would be interesting be in seeing one. I was wondering if it was better written, because, like I said, if they can write a quality story, because everything else, I'm not bothered. Because it's supposed to be Indiana Jones type of movie. It should have been way better. Exactly. We had exactly. three, well, two great Indiana Jones movies. One that was okay, and one that was meh. So yeah, but even the meh one, I enjoyed. Yeah, parts of it. Yeah, you know? definitely. Until the aliens show up. Of course, yeah. Same here. Until it was like there's like one point in time I was when I was and by the end of the around the end of the movie when they were starting the epilogue, yeah. I was wondering, you know what? Please, please finish this movie for me. I don't even care I if Trinity takes over the world. I don't care if they. I do. knew they were not gonna do it. So the they left it open ended. The they it left written, it open ended. They left it open ended it's, so they can make a sequel. Yeah, if this one but makes I don't really money. care whether they make a sequel. I would or not. actually like to see if they can write it better. I would like, you know what, the only way they can write it better is if, if, if Trinity takes over the world. Like, then I would love well, to no, see that Well, the only way they can write it better is they actually bring in different writers. Yeah, true. I have no idea who Somebody, worked up on I this movie, either. so, yeah. Uh, Generally could have been a lot better movie, but it still has some uh, enjoyable treats, I guess. Uh, Somewhat. You know what, I... <laughs> Listen, Ready Player the, One is coming out like in a week, and you know, like Avengers you know are coming end of April, so you can just save your money and go see Avengers like 16 times. Yeah, definitely. I I can't recommend this movie to anybody, man. No, I mean, unfortunately. Like, you can go and watch it. It has, like I said, some Not even for Alicia Weekender, so yeah, I mean. Oh, yeah. And she's like married, anyway. So. I don't care, man. Is she, is she married like, to Fassbender? Yep. I think uh, they got married. When well, they they, the how many movies movie? did they make? Two or like three? One. No, they made something else, too. Like Wasn't Apple. she in the uh, Assassin's Creed? Nope. They made the lighthouse one, and they said they fell in love because they were like literally trapped on a lighthouse for like three months. Yeah, I I, I so remember they, watching they were, that movie, like but not watching it all the way to the end. people the whole lighthouse making the movie, so they fell in love. It's like, hey, cool, but uh, still, it's you can go watch it, but like you know, save your money. Ready Player One is probably gonna disappoint too, so just go watch Avengers. We'll times get into Ready Player other. One when we see Ready Player One. I'm not gonna see that. <laughs> right. <You're laughs> That's gonna be a fun review like, then. I'm not gonna... You're gonna talk about the movie, I'm gonna talk about the book. And, and then, we'll make comparisons, yeah. it's gonna be fun. Um, until next still time... I'm not gonna go see that movie. <laughs> 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 the Brothers out. Yeah.